So imagine this, you wake up tomorrow and there's a $20,000 robot standing in your kitchen. It can clean your house, fold your clothes, and learn your daily routines. Sounds pretty amazing, right? It feels like we're finally living in the future. But here's the shocking part. This is already happening. Thousands of people are using this robot today. In this video, we're taking a closer look at the One X Neo, and I'll show you what's real, what's hype, and why this thing is both brilliant and a little creepy at the same time. All right, let me break down what we're talking about here. Neo is made by One X Technologies, a company from Norway. And these guys are not just some random startup. They've got backing from Samsung, OpenAI, and some seriously big venture capital firms. So they've got money and credibility. Neo itself is basically a humanoid robot. It's about five foot six, weighs around 66 pounds, and it costs $20,000 if you want to pre-order it right now. Or if you're really into the subscription model thing, it's $499 a month. Delivery is supposed to happen in 2026. And here's what they're promising. They're saying Neo can do basically all your household chores, like it'll fold your laundry, organize your home, fetch you water, help with dishes. It's got hands with 22 degrees of freedom, basically meaning it can move its fingers and hands in supernatural ways, almost like a human hand. It'll talk to you, learn what you like, remember your routines, and get smarter over time. The CEO, his name is Burnt, says something like, Robots used to be sci-fi, then they were in labs, but now with Neo, they're actual products you can buy. And honestly, when you hear it like that, it sounds incredible. We've been waiting since we watched the Jetsons for a robot made. Finally, it's here, right? But then you start digging into what's actually happening, and it gets weird really fast. So, the Wall Street Journal sent this journalist named Joan Stern to spend a day with Neo and the people who made it. And what she discovered basically tells you everything about where we actually are with this technology. First off, the hardware is actually pretty cool. These engineers built Neo with something called tendon drive technology. It's basically like artificial muscles and tendons. So, when Neo moves, it's not all clunky and jerky like old robots. It moves smoothly and quietly, kind of like how a human would move. The whole thing only weighs 66 pounds, but it can actually lift up to 150 pounds. And it's got this soft, cushioned body, so it won't hurt you if it bumps into you. Joanna even said she wasn't creeped out by it, which is honestly a good sign. But then Joanna asked Neo to do actual tasks, like super simple stuff. She asked it to grab her some water from the fridge. The fridge is like 10 feet away. You know how long that took? Over a minute. That's a long time for a robot to walk 10 feet and grab a bottle of water. Then they asked it to load three things into the dishwasher. That took five minutes. Five minutes to put three plates in a dishwasher. And here's where it gets actually crazy. Almost everything Neo did was being controlled by a human. There was this guy in another room wearing a VR headset, looking through Neo's camera eyes and using controllers to make it move. This dude was basically a remote pilot flying Neo like a drone. When Joanna tried to control Neo herself with the VR controllers, she completely messed up. Neo literally started doing the Macarena. It was so bad that the robot had to go to urgent care. I know that sounds funny, but it actually tells you something important. Operating Neo is hard. It's not something you can just pick up and do. It takes real skill. Here's the thing that really matters, though. Joanna specifically said, I didn't see Neo do anything on its own. Literally, Neo doing things by itself without a human controlling it. The only autonomous thing they showed was Neo opening a door. One door. That's it. But the company is telling people that by 2026, Neo will be fully autonomous and handle all your household stuff. That's a massive gap between what's actually working and what they're promising. Okay, so here's what's actually going on. One X is putting Neo in people's homes because they need data. Every time a human remotely controls Neo, they're recording it. That video becomes training data for their AI system. So basically, when you buy Neo for $20,000, you're not just buying a robot, you're also paying to help train it. You're like a customer and a research assistant at the same time. 
The company is pretty open about this. The CEO literally said, if we don't have your data, we can't make the product better. They even have an app where you can schedule experts from the company to remotely control your robot and teach it new things. They call it expert mode. So, like if you get Neo and it struggles with something, you can just call up an expert and they'll take over, do the task, and the system learns. But this is where it gets actually uncomfortable. For this to work, One X needs to see inside your home through Neo's cameras. We're talking about strangers potentially seeing your living space, your bedroom, your bathroom, your kitchen. They'll see what you cook, when you're home, what time you go to bed, everything. Now, the company says they've got security stuff in place. They blur your face. You can set no-go zones that Neo won't go into. You have to approve anyone connecting to your robot. That sounds good, but the core issue is still there. Strangers are going to have access to camera feeds from inside your home. And some people on Reddit are literally calling it a $20,000 surveillance intern. I mean, that's pretty funny, but also kind of fair. And here's another problem. The company won't even clearly say what Neo will do on its own versus what still needs human control in 2026. When Joanna asked the CEO directly what will be autonomous and what will need a teleoperator, he basically dodged the question. That's a red flag. If they knew exactly what would be autonomous, he would have just said it. The fact that he couldn't means they probably don't have a clear roadmap yet. So you're basically pre-ordering a promise. You don't know exactly what you're getting, you don't know how much privacy you'll actually lose, and you're paying $20,000 before any of that gets figured out. That's a pretty big risk. Okay, now before you completely write this thing off, there are a few good reasons why this is actually a huge deal. First, it's a real at-home humanoid robot. Finally. Before Neo, all these robots were just lab experiments. Nobody had one at home. Neo is basically the first serious attempt to bring a humanoid robot into somebody's actual house. This is like the iPhone moment for robots. It's probably not going to be perfect, it might not even be super useful in 2026, but it marks the moment when robots stop being science fiction or research projects and start becoming actual products people can buy. That's huge! Second, the learning model is smart. Every time someone controls Neo, they're creating training data. The AI watches what humans do and learns from it. Over time, in theory, Neo gets smarter and smarter. And the more people who have Neo, the more data they get, the faster it learns. So like, in a year or two, Neo could actually become significantly more autonomous just because thousands of people are teaching it by using it. That's pretty clever. Third, the engineering in the hardware is actually legit impressive. Those tendon drives, that's real innovation. Other robots move like machines. Neo moves like it has muscles. It moves smoothly. It's quiet. It doesn't jerk around. When the AI finally catches up to the potential, the physical foundation is already solid. That matters. Fourth, there's real potential for people who actually need this. Think about elderly people or people with mobility issues. An 80-year-old who can't bend down can't fetch things from the fridge. But with Neo, suddenly, they've got independence. They can ask Neo to help them with stuff they can't do anymore. The CEO mentioned this, and honestly, that's not just marketing talk. That could genuinely change people's lives. And finally, competition is good. Tesla is working on their Optimus robot. Boston Dynamics is working on their robots. Everyone's racing to build the best humanoid robot. That pushes everyone to innovate faster and better. We're going to see some insane advances in the next couple of years because of this competition. That benefits everyone, even if you don't buy Neo. All right, but let's be real. There are some serious questions that aren't being answered properly. The autonomy timeline is way too vague. The CEO couldn't tell Joanna which tasks would be autonomous and which ones would still need human controlling the robot. That's evasive. When you get Neo in 2026, will you still need to schedule experts to help it do most things? We don't know. That's a problem when you're dropping $20,000. What happens to your data? Yeah, they blur your face, but they're keeping everything else. Your home layout, your daily routine, your habits, your stuff. Does 1X keep that forever? Will they sell it? Will it be used to train robots for other companies? 
there's no clear data privacy policy that I've seen, that's sketchy. And the price doesn't match what you're getting right now. You're paying $20,000 for a robot that mostly needs someone else to control it. That's not a $20,000 value, that's funding their R&D. You're essentially investing in their research, not buying a finished product. And here's something people don't talk about. The competition might be better. Tesla is saying their Optimus will be less dependent on teleoperators and more autonomous. Boston Dynamics is working on similar stuff. By the time Neo gets to your house in 2026, there might be better options. You could spend $20,000 on Neo only to see a competitor release something way better six months later. That happens in tech all the time. The Wall Street Journal's full video is way better than anything I could show you, so that's linked in the description. The CEO's full interview is there too, and honestly, it's interesting hearing him defend all these choices. Here's what I want to know, though. Would you actually pre-order Neo? Like, if you had the money right now, would you do it? Or are you in the, let me see how the first batch goes camp? And what about the privacy thing? Does knowing that strangers might see inside your home make you say no? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I actually read those and I'm curious what people think. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.